just got pinged on Discord, let me see what it is. Wow, you're active but aren't responding to me. I see how it is. Discord dating. Never once. Hello, Redditors of the Internet Nobles down here, and welcome to r slash nice guys, part 82. Let's get started. So, this next one is certainly not the toxic one about me. One, change your oil. Two, stop calling your mom 15 times a day. Three, stop covering your check engine light with pictures of your dog and bestie. Four, I promise you if your profile says no toxic guys, then you are the toxic one. Come to the gym with me if it's real. P.S. Proud uncle. Very proud indeed. For this next one, I am frightened. Yo, hope you're well. Hi. Hey, how are you, bud? Merry Christmas. Hey. Hi. Every nice guy has his breaking point. Watch out, guys, he's Morbin. First they were obsessed with the Joker, and now it's Morbius. For this next one, please, Emma, it would really make my day. Imagine being this desperate, laughing. Everything okay? Grandma died. She was my best friend. Work sucks. I do everything, and they still only focus on what I don't do. Girl I was talking to slash really liked got a boyfriend. Right as I was gonna ask her out, just been depressed, Emma. But I'm asking you this only because you're one of my favorite people on this earth and I feel so comfortable talking to you and you've been here for me during my darkest times. But could you possibly send some nudes? LOL, I'm sorry I'm asking this, but you're legit the only person in the world I'd ever ask this, Emma, because I know you're amazing and won't flip shit on me because you've been here for me so much. Heart emoji. Dude went from life sucks to send pics please in seconds. Desperation levels? Down critical. For this next one, downloaded Tinder today. Didn't even take a full 24 hours to find myself a quote rare guy and then blow my chance with him. Maybe I manifested it by being obsessed with r slash nice guys. Oh goodness, I really hope these videos aren't summoning nice guys into your lives. I don't want to torture my viewers like this. Anyway, hey, can you send me more pics of you? Cause you're super cute. Great opener. It's not an opener. Uh, I just want to see more of you, please. I'm cool for now. Thanks though. Why not? Are you lazy as hell normally and like to be insanely difficult? Wow. The truth hurts, eh? You have an insanely rare guy right here and you're bowing lazy AF and difficult. So I'm deleting you. You're lost. Now that's just plain wrong. Bad pun alert, bad pun alert. Oh, now I know you're messing with me, laughing emojis. Have a good night. Nope, being honest as hell. I don't lie. I'm rare AF. See ya. Bye, have a good one. Screenshotting just proves even more to me how immature you are and how you can't take honesty. Thanks for showing me your true self. Bye. Bye. And then he flew away in a Boeing 737. Moving on. To these absolute gems this morning, not a clue who this is. Women are cruel, insensitive, hurtful, but they're so beautiful. They smell really nice. They smell like toffee apples. <laughs> what? It's better to make her cry a little bit now than break her heart in three years time when she's totally in love with me and we both have bought a loud of shitty furniture. Yes, a loud. Your fanny's that frozen. It started to sing Let It Go. Um, okay then. Okay, moving on to this next one, a so-called entrepreneur. Brandon, 28, a straight man and is just 26 miles away. A little too close, but let's see. I have a super serious question. Can any woman please, please explain to me what an ugly 3 out of 10 like myself has to do before a 6 out of 10 or above pretty girl will talk to me? I mean, your first problem is rating yourself like that. You're not gonna get anywhere thinking like that. I spend so much friggin' money on these dating apps and I still can't get even one girl to talk to me. Please, there has to be some advice Google isn't giving me because I can't fix ugly lol. I thought women were posed to care about personality more than bank accounts. Only rich guys get the 10 out of 10 girls. It's total BS. Not exactly an entrepreneurial spirit, I'd say. 
And now a nice guy borderline incel with this terminology on r slash virgin. Of all places, anyone else here been rejected by an incel or a femcel? I've been rejected by many femcels and forever alone women. It's funny, actually. These people will complain all day about how men don't give them a chance. We only want hot Instagram models and are addicts, but yet they don't count on it when I ask them out or try to get to know them on a more personal level, lol. I always put effort in and try to come correct, but nah, I'm not a real man of them, so it doesn't count. Any men or women feel experience something similar? Fem cells don't exist. Single women are always vol cells. Basically meaning voluntary celibate rather than supposedly involuntarily. b b b b b b based Did you mean chad sexuals? No, I mean giga chad sexuals actually. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, then why not like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell? And let's continue our little ride into r slash virgin nice guys. 99% of people who get laid never had to work on their personality or get hobbies and improve themselves. Why do people still believe in self-improvement if that's the case? I mean, look at the average guy that never had to do the self-improvement BS just to get laid. It's a freaking scam and people are coming here every day giving this BS advice. 99% of people get laid easily without any of this BS. Let's face it, if you have to do any of this garbage just to get laid, it's already over for you. Except more often than not, it's not over for you. And a lot of people did have to improve themselves. I mean, people will even come here and recommend quote therapy to us, as if that will do anything besides drain your bank account. The average high schooler probably doesn't even know what therapy is, yet the majority of them get laid before they even graduate high school. If it doesn't come naturally, then what's the friggin' point grinding every day with self-improvement for no results? A 5'7 guy can go to the gym, but it will never make him 6 foot and attractive to women. Just be confident. Girls love guys with confidence, or at least guys who act confident. That's what a girl told me when I asked a question. The truth is, they want the good-looking guys showing confidence, not us uglies. Why won't women just admit this? And this next one's nice and red, which means this post was deleted. I refused a pregnant woman a seat on the bus today. I was on the bus and a pregnant woman got on. The bus was kind of full, although there was some empty seats at the back, but she ended up standing next to me. I was close to the door where she got on. I've had bitter feelings about women. I know it's wrong, but I can't control them, so I didn't want to give her my seat, and I was hoping someone else would do it. I was also tired after a long day, and I wanted a relaxing ride home. For a while, she did not say anything, and I guess she was expecting to me to give up my seat. I just looked out the window and pretended not to notice her. However, a few seconds later she asked, Can I sit down please? Now what went through my mind is the cruel irony is that I am kissless, and no female is willing to help me about it. But this woman is asking me for help? I then told her I didn't have to give up my seat and I didn't know her anything, and I pointed at the back and told her that there were some empty seats at the back. Some other guy gave his seat to her instead though. Yeah, because that other guy is not as miserable as you. Jeez. Anyway, the reactions afterwards from the other passengers in the bus was mixed. A lot of people stared. I heard some elderly person make a remark about young people these days. I know it was a mean thing to do, but it felt good in the moment. What kind of life do you have to live for this to feel good? Society has effed me over, so I feel no reason to help other people. Plus, I was tired and needed to sit down and not stand for a 30 minute plus bus route home. My life is already crap, so I'm gonna take whatever comforts I can. The selfishness of this individual. And one final post from r slash virgin, why is it always the d-bags and bullies that get laid? I mean, people say personality is important, but when I look around at work, it's always the d-bags bragging about how much coochie they get. I mean, it's probably because decent people don't talk about getting laid every chance they get. Also, the possibility of just making shit up. If having a nice personality is important, why is it always the d-bags and bullies that get laid? For this next one, I wonder what crawled up his ass and died. Oh my. Boss babes who have money and can take care of themselves, who don't need no man, all of a sudden need them when it's time to pay. They want to advertise the Gucci but not actually give it up. I guarantee he decided not to simp. Split the check and pay a share, which I'll bet is only 15% of the bill, after they start whooping, raising glasses, and getting turned up. 
You didn't want to F this guy, so you definitely don't want to F the owner. They about to run up the credit card of the most barley and good credit standing girl. Swear they're gonna pay her back. Never will and argue she said we got money, I got this. A say she said that did not have to pay her back. What? And unlike other men, their friendships will be destroyed when they start shaming and insulting each other to each other and all over social media. Little redundant there. And they will go home to their filthy apartments with three roommates each, rinse and repeat, till they hit the wall at 30 and blame men for being trash and no good, and wonder why we stick and move with trashy girls like this and marry a real submissive woman. There it is. They've gotta be submissive. Who doesn't have a body count of 500 after being a sugar baby and sucking for handbags? bags and shoes and nights out on the town in the VIP. Yeah, such class and grace. That video alone is what men watch and know they will never take women like this trash seriously. Under all that makeup and clothes, you're just a set of holes for their pleasure. If you can't be a lady in public like that, and control your emotions and masculine energy, you all need counseling and to stop spending time with single women who keep you single. But that won't happen. You're in party mode, and we men just have small d energy. Lol, lol. you're all victims, which is true in some ways. Victims of feminism and listening to single woman. Seven down votes. I wouldn't have bothered reading this wall of text if I wasn't getting paid for it. Seriously, the dude is spewing a whole bunch of incel BS. And now, damn, sounds like a perfect 10 to me I wonder was wrong. USYD love letters revive. Oh my. I am everything a girl could possibly want, but girls do not want me, and I don't know what's going on. I am basically substantially above average on every criteria that is generally brought up when people think of what makes someone attractive. This is gonna sound like a bit like I'm sucking myself off here, but take my word that I'm normally modest. I'm just fed up right now. Yeah, we can tell. I'm handsome, I've got an excellent body, I'm tall enough, I have really interesting hobbies, I'm intelligent, I'm studying something interesting at uni, I'm extremely confident, I make people laugh, I listen to people, I make eye contact, I'm not arrogant, I'm not just concentrated on getting laid, I smile, I'm kind, I give compliments, yarda 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 etc. Usually it's yada yarda. <laughs> Maybe it's the accent or something, I don't know. Despite this, I'm 19 and the furthest I've ever been with a girl is hand holding. I have grown up and watched all of my less interesting, less attractive, and more awkward friends get really rewarding relationships while I have been left behind. Girls just don't develop romantic interest in me. I don't know why. I'm perplexed. I do not know what on earth is going wrong. What the hell do I do? This dude is acting like it's such a big mystery on why he can't get laid. Like if he has some sort of mysterious aura that repels women. For this next one, long story short, Buddy got mad because he asked if I ever had a hookup and I was honest about the fact that I had one. No, I never have. It's always good, smart, hardworking guys like us that never get a chance looked at or anything. Hmm, well, nice knowing ya. Guess we can be Snapchat buddies. And the Lost 075 says, did, did he just reject himself? Yes. Yes, he did. Guess some of these nice guys don't want to let women get a word in to the point where they're willing to reject themselves. And now, what my sister has to deal with, and on top of that, legal issues. This dude, what up? And he can't say that you're not feeling me because you barely know anything about me, wingy face. All this is going back to me, not asking you any questions, and I honestly still don't know what I want to ask you. Because I don't know what I want to know, yet it seems like that's going to be a problem with you because you want me to know things or to ask you questions, and I have a lot of things on my mind to say the less to sit here and ask you questions, not to mention the fact that I'm driving with a camera in my car that I already got a write-up for that I'm not happy about. Hey you, just ask normal questions when you feel that you want to. Or if I ask you something, just say, well how about you, laughing emoji. I've had a bad day. I got the mother of all write-ups, my friend. I'd like to see you soon too. So make it happen. Just don't worry about asking me anything. I'm not trying to scare you, lol. Just text or call when you can. And then a while later, damn, someone is busy again without a second to spare. You'll survive through the day. And then, a couple hours later, I told you that I had a pretty rough day and I still haven't heard from you. Grayson, please just stop. I'm dealing with possibly losing my kids right now. Holy F, I'm sorry. And you didn't mention anything about having a rough day. I'm losing a lot of pay. 
Right now, I don't want to talk to anyone. I'm just not replying. But that just pissed me off. I didn't expect to get the email today from the lawyer, so I was livid, and I lost my temper on him, and now I've got worse. Oh no, but of course, the nice guy one-ups her by saying, I obviously don't have kids, but I'm here for you. I received legal docs on my doorstep this morning. I'm sorry for bothering you. I feel bad. I understand. I'm heading to talk if you want to chill. Let me know if you want to talk or hang out to take your mind off it. I don't want to do anything. Thank you, though. Yeah, I already friggin' knew that. Kinda pathetic how you can't even really reach out to me though. You've had two men in your life that turn out to be D-bags and that I am not. And you won't even talk to me, but thanks. You know what? How about you just don't text me anymore? I don't even want to get to know you because all you're sounding like it's very selfish. Do you want me to talk to you about your problems when I'm going through even bigger problems? Sorry that you're losing pay. I could possibly lose my kids. You, everything, maybe that's why you're single. I'm good, just leave me alone. Do not text me again. Have a good life. What a selfish guy, dude only wants to talk about his problems. This next one just happened so fast. Hey girl, how are you? Did you see me? I don't know you. Yeah, saw your like on sarcasm page. I'm from Dubai. Where are you from? Is it your page? Um, I am partner. We do together. You from? It's me. Don't wanna talk, so let me know. Not really interested in talking to people I don't know. No offense, wish you a great day. F off, MF. Well, tell the United Arab Emirates this guy's been winning gold medals in the nice guy's Olympics. Cause that nice guy 180? Incredible. This guy is a so-called gentleman to a drunken woman, then get angry when they don't bang him sober. I quit drinking seven years ago or so. Since then, every girl that's been attracted to me whether they just wanted a one-nighter or a relationship I'll never know, are drunk AF. They want to grab my D and try to kiss me with vomit breath, etc. I be the quote gentleman, then pursue when she is sober. And mind you, these girls want to chill and spend time with me. But as soon as I'm like, hey, I'm into you, let's be intimate. Absolutely not. I just like you as a friend. Oh, okay, so by quote, taking advantage of you being drunk and sleeping with you when you're horny drunk is okay, but waiting till you're sober? Middle finger to you. Literally, this has happened to me with like 10 chicks in the last seven years. A few of you may even be reading this. I've never been drunk and wanted to F someone I wasn't attracted to sober. So like, seriously, what the hell, ladies? If this exact scenario has happened to you literally 10 times and you're the common denominator, then you might want to take a hard look at why that is. Yeah, I attract drunk chicks that want to F and feel rejected when I won't F them drunk, so they reject me in order to make me feel bad. I get it, and it's not me. Chicks need to stop using alcohol to lower their inhibitions and at the same time moan their drunk actions when they're sober and not lie about what they did when they were drunk. How was that on me for being respectful and not taking advantage of them while sober? According to you, I should just kiss and F all the drunk girls that come hang on me and grab me. Like seriously, I honestly think you just like to argue with me. What? That is exactly the opposite of what this person is saying. You always argue with all my posts. This is not something that do, it's something they do. Like, why don't you tell me how it's on me? The fact these girls can't be open and honest when I'm like, it's okay, you don't have to feel ashamed after they tell me they are ashamed and embarrassed. I'm like, don't be, but they are, and they feel scorned or something and want to make me feel rejected. So yeah, enough with your common denominator BS. And someone else says, alcohol lowers inhibitions and people are effed up, so... Between emotional terrors of life and the human mind adding booze to the mix, makes total logical sense, I guess. Nice guy replies, what about when you're sober and the guy's like, it's okay, I still like you, let's move forward. Why the what? I never said that. What? I would have never done that. No, I'm not attracted to you, but it seems everyone that doesn't talk about crap and f drunk ends up together in a crappy relationship. So where's the logic? Why after the guy is like, I'm still here, is it? That's not how I feel, even though the signs of attraction were there before the alcohol. My brother in Christ, you're just not getting it. You're not entitled to getting laid with anyone just because you didn't take advantage of them while they were intoxicated. Let's move on. To this next one, who is literally the definition of a nice guy. 
You really are a waste of life. This is why guys treat girls like crap. And y'all wonder where all the good guys are. Your dad should have pulled out. I thought differently of you, to be honest, but you really did prove you're just the same as every other girl, if not worse. You knew how I felt about you. Well, you should have also known that she's under no obligation to sleep with you. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time messaging you, because I know this dude is inside your coochie right now, so whatever. Just don't ever try to talk to me again when he Fs you over. Have a good life, you dummy. Alright people, watch out for this next one because we have a certified verified alpha male. Can't get over how beautiful you are. You need a reply, missy. Wasn't Reddit, that was me who deleted everything. Why did you delete everything, and literally everything you said you were looking for in a man is how every girl I've been with describes me? Take it, I'm the only real man in your inbox. Reply now, missy, I command you to reply. It had nothing to do with you. I don't think it did, hun. Just curious as to why. Has someone been harassing you? If they have, I'll frickin' end them. Holy shit, we got a badass over here, watch out! We defo have a connection, you really should reply. I'm a mom, I'm busy, and I have animals to care for. I'm constantly in and out. What animals? And let me know when you're ready to talk properly. I'm defo the only alpha male in your inbox. The rest of them are these wimpy little beta males all over Reddit crying about how they can't get females. This next guy legit thinks women who like to get intimate are worthless to men in general. How many of you ladies have realized this? Every day I'm astonished at the amount of women running around here waving their freedom all over the place, asking about where all the good boyfriend material men and these same women don't understand the cost they paid for such liberation. Yes. All of you ladies have achieved complete liberation. My question is, how many of you ladies have realized the price you have paid for this? See, when women were liberated, men were also given freedom from something. Men were given freedom from commitment. Instinctually, men do want a strong, independently liberated woman with a promiscuous history for anything more than that. That is a fact that will never change. How many of you ladies realize that this would be the price of your freedom? Wait, so men do want women like that? Okay then. For this next one, saw this on Instagram. What a gem. It's a quick one. 42 year old from Guildford. Not sure if that's pronounced right, who knows with the British. Hi, I'm the perfect gentleman, warm and passionate. Can we chat? No. Screw you then. Hey, at least this one revealed the red flags real quick. Block and move on. To this next profile, I'd like a real relationship and to be a real couple. I don't take life too seriously and always want to have a laugh. We'll always hold your hand and we'll treat you as best as I can. I'm proud of being genuine, honest, and a nice person. No games. I'm done with drama. If you're after a bad boy or an idiot with a reputation, then that's not me. All I say is date and idiot. Expect to be treated like one. I have a good career as an engineer on trains. I also have three kids full time. We're great. Happy face. Looking for chatting something casual or a long-term relationship. Three kids, good career, and you still have the nice guys mentality? What? All right, moving on before my brain explodes to the death metal nice guy. Oh yeah. OMG, men are so friggin' wild laughing emojis. I woke up with a message from a guy I've never talked to before in my life telling me he thought I was cute and he was interested in dating me, even though he doesn't like girls with short hair, but that's something about me that was different and captured his attention. He then proceeded to tell me he saw my other pics and that right now I'm about a seven and a half, but if I grow my hair out like my other pictures, I would be an eight and a half and look better by his side. Since he's in a death metal band and would prefer his girlfriend to match his look since that's important for his band and to stop wearing so much pink. To which I replied how romantic and flattered I was by his attention, sarcasm, and that just flew by him so he then asked me out for Friday but he wanted me to promise if we start dating and he decides to keep me I would immediately let my hair grow long for his approval. I then told him how thankful I was for his attention again, being a little nice there. But I too had a preference and that's not dating someone from the AV and he replied by telling me to F off that I was a gold digging fat bee and lucky to have even received a message from him with a lot of crying and laughing emojis. 
I don't know, y'all. Yeah. Did I make a mistake? I think he might have been the one and I lost him crying emojis forever. I think being quite sarcastic in that last sentence as well. And for this last one, we found a textbook nice guy on Twitter today who won't let people tweet in peace. To be fair, a lot of people on Twitter don't let you tweet in peace. Nice guys aren't the only one. When they only compliment your body, huge red flags, and a lot of people like that. Or only compliments your looks 24-7 and nothing else about you, don't bother getting to know you, yeah, this is about someone. Probably specifically calling out a certain type of nice guy. But of course, the nice guy replies, when she only gives her coochie free to the bad boy, but the nice guy makes him go through hoops to finally get laid. Yes, this is about every girl. Using the same crying emoji to mock her. When they only want us when we're bad boys and players, then girls hit 30 and lose their looks, so now they have to settle and want the nice guy or stay single, red flags. And someone else says, dead ass, dude only told me how hot and pretty I was. Guys in the audience are just people in general. Don't just compliment looks, their personality is important too. Meanwhile, the nice guy replies, dead ass, girl only noticed us after how successful and well established us men become, but before that are invisible, clown emojis. Again, this dude keeps mockingly using their emojis. And someone else says, I'm so over this generation normalizing, cheating, lying, etc. Like, y'all not tired? Y'all not trying to live a peaceful life? With a lot of question marks. Girls love drama, that's why they go for the bad boys, lol, and run back after bad boys cheat, ah uh, ah, uh. if you're a nice guy you're considered boring, lol, it's 2022, we figured out the game, thank you YouTube, ah uh, ah, uh. yeah this dude gets all his information from incel channels, pretty clear now, and another one from the nice guy, tell him to be super duper nice nice to you and have him do everything you say, girls aren't attracted to guys that are super nice to them that do everything they say, and someone else says, as dad bods are better than abs. Don't be fooled, fellas. It's actually a whole guy is better than dad bods, abs, and nice guy. Nice guys can't even fathom the fact that people can have preferences. And the last tweet in reply. Hate that men don't realize how periods and pregnancy really has an effect on our emotions. Hate that women don't realize how much the struggle we must endure to be socially, financially adept to even be considered valued by the opposite sex in society. Fellas. We really do live in a society. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Vengemans, Catalan Cormenti, Spoonie the Rogue, Dark Garden, Nightcrawler, and Bacon Cat. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.